Hello everyone. Today my topic is about the rejection of the candle. I got so many queries from the traders. They are confused with in the rejection, and uh, they are not understanding the rejection in the candle, and then they are unable to trade the rejection candle. So there are so many uh, different methods to trade the rejection candle. Sometimes we want to place a sale option. For example, we want to place a sale option not from here. We want from here or from the another level, which is above, with a margin of safety. The rejection at this scale level, a rejection at this level, rejection at this level. Why here? Why there is no rejection? Why there is a rejection? The question. All these have answers. Each and every candle rejected from the topward or the downward have a meaning. Why it's rejecting? What's the reason of rejection? Have a meaning. So, if we are just thinking that we trade the rejection but we are not understanding the how to understand this rejection why it's happened why here is a big rejection why here is a small one for example why this rejection closes here why it not reach to this area why it not reaches to this area why this rejection reach only at this area why it's not reaching at the open price of the candle why this rejection is greater than the this rejection and come appear here till this then I get rejected back why this rejection we saw here this rejection is above the open price why it's not below the open price this every rejection have a meaning to understand first of all we need to understand the upper rejection the lower rejection the meaning of the upper and lower rejection the strength and weakness silo and sharp rejection in the candle that is very important for example you have a candle which is a green a green candle which have a upper rejection it means that the sellers enter in this candle we don't know it's this is a strong rejection or it's a weak rejection the strength and weakness only we can know from the volume if the volume is increasing from the previous bar this rejection is strong but if you see that the volume is not increasing from the previous bar the rejection is not strong even it's uh, like a this one type of rejection no problem what matter the rejection if with the rejection volume increases then it will be count a strong rejection otherwise a volume decreases this rejection will be very weak rejection a green candle which have a lower rejection a lower rejection a volume increases it makes a, a strong bias sellers came down then bias control from this area and then make a new high so it shows that the sellers failed bias control the market if the volume increases it will be called a strong bias here for example any lower rejection it is showing that the sellers failed and bias control the market and the volume if you see it's decreasing now decreasing the volume have two meanings this closing price closed under the resistance this closing price close with a breakout this closing price have a no support and resistance and then the volume in decreases volume decreases and volume here decreases each and every information have a different point of action if this candle closes under the resistance and if you see that this candle have a low volume it means that on this resistance level sellers not entered strongly 
the volume not increases because of the sellers close the buyers closed under the resistance and the sellers not try to enter the, in the market they show us a rejection but they not entered strongly so the volume decreases shows that the buyers are strengthful and then the sellers are very weak so you can continue the market it will move up but here if there is a breakout and the volume is decreases it will be considered buyers are weak breakout is weak weak breakout the sign of reversal the fake breakout the sign of reversal here though no support no resistance if volume decreases if the previous candle is a green or the previous candle is a red if there is a red previous candle the answer will be different the previous candle will be the green answer will be different so each and every candle is connected with the another candle this candle will be connected with the another candle and this candle will be connected with the another candle when we will combine these all information it will be the different when we will combine this rejection this rejection this rejection it will give us a different meaning but a single candle rejection is a different when we will combine the three candles now what we are looking sellers entered failed sellers entered failed sellers entered failed three times sellers entered failed definitely the buyers will move up but when the third fourth time buyers enter they will be exhausted mostly then sellers enter again so each and every movement have a reason with a different information with a different point of view but it does not mean that every time we will take a same thing same meaning we we cannot take every time now here for example the rejection at this area when the price closes a red the price tried to move in a up direction and rejected from this area it means that this red candle is stronger at this area this red candle is stronger at this area then price move down this candle is stronger the this one candle is stronger at this area that's why bias tried and failed the candle number 3 it will be one it will be two it will be three the three candle is totally strong at this area the fourth candle is strong at this area the fifth candle is strong at this area i will prove it how it is strong see i am going to add something and then i will show you how they are strong this is a candle i will add the another pair euro usd and make it the two pair screen one pair screen is the 15 second or 5 second or 15 second whatever if i want what you want if you want the 5 second you can add the 5 second screen if you want the 15 second you can add the 15 second screen whatever it's up to you but it must be the 12 candles right see at this candle we will see where it's so strong the volume is increases at this area this area is a strongest area in all these candles but this is also a stronger but at the topward side because this is a reversing price is moving in up direction but this candle is rejected at this area so this area is your this area okay see here this area as i told this area is a strongest area that's why this area have a strong volume and the price moved up and rejected back so this area is the strongest and the price this price the second candle moved up and reversed back from this strongest area see now this candle is stronger at this area not in here here here, here. 
this is the strongest at this area so here you will find here you will find the candle is stronger in this part of the candle so i'm going to exchange the condition of this movement for the one minute it will be the 12 second see that is the big candle and the third candle which is rejected from this area three this area of the candle will be the strongest one this one is a maruposo candle at this area you can see here it's a strength of the buyers which now price is below it turns into resistance level and here you can see the price volume is strength in a strength here but this is the strongest candle which is the maruposo a maruposo candle a price came back and then rejected back why because of this resistance and because of the strong candle same thing here if you find why this candle rejected from here because the candle is strong at the this area this candle is this candle is strong at this area see a rejection then market move down this candle is the strongest at this area and this area is your see it proves that each and every candle have a point of control each and every candle have a point of control see in this area volume is increases each and every candle have a point of control and that point of control is acting as a support and resistance and we can understand from where the price will move and reverse the sellers will enter where they are strong the buyers will enter where they are strong so if they are entering from the strong zone there will be the possibility market will move and follow the strong zone which is from the seller or which is from the buyer so this will be the idea that if there is a resistance if there is a level here in rejecting from here what is the reason for the rejecting here the reason is that the candle is strong the previous candle have a point of control at this area a point of control here it's at this area okay good so here we understood the rejection very simple and common rejection understanding upper rejection in the red candle it makes the red candle more stronger a lower rejection in the red candle it makes a weaker both rejection in the red candle it makes a neutral a green candle which have a lower re rejection is greater than the upper rejection less than the body or greater than the body it increases the strength of the bias but if you see that the upper rejection is greater than the body then the lower rejection it decreases the strength of the bias so the rejection is the reason of increasing and decreasing the strength and weakness of the candle so that was the introduction of the rejection it means rejection is a counter action when buyers want to move up sellers trying to move down it's a counter action in the counter action there will be the two types of rejection a sharp rejection a slow rejection sometimes sharp rejection is a strong rejection sometimes slow rejection is a strong but it depends upon the volume the sharp and slow rejection in the candle how it can be the sharp and how it can be the slow let's we are going to check it on the live chart here see a rejection which is a very sharp it means that the push 
the bounce from the level that is strong but one thing keep in mind here a price for example it's it's coming up 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 up, up. but when it's reversing back sharp then up 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 up, up. reversing back sharp up 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 reversing back sharp so the sharp movement at the downward side the three sharp movements at the downward side the sharp movement at the upper side then slowly slowly down so this is what a sharp movement uh, any direction if which have a sharp movement it can be the reason of the strong rejection to market give you the sign for the reversal or for the continuation so now how to trade the rejection market let's we are going to identify the market and then we are trading that was the introduction see here there is a rejection at the top which buyers broke this level then sellers again broke strongly but volume not increases there is another support level here there is another support level where the sellers are closed and now you can see the upper rejection is greater than the lower rejection and again the price is moving down but from here that area one two three four have a rejection and the buyers are trying to enter again and again again and again but you can see the, the sellers are moving slowly slowly and the bias rejection is get, coming very strongly so here i'm thinking that the bias will enter in this market because the bias are totally here closed on this this area where the so many times we found the rejection here that is a rejection here that is a rejection here that is a rejection this is a this is a rejection and this every rejection have a reason from here when the sellers entered strongly this small candle is showing that the uh, weakness and the bias strength here so that's why i understood that the price will move in an up direction and then i place a call option here on this rejection to understanding the rejection rejection does not mean that every time we are when the price will move up and then it move down then i place a trade on the rejection rejection means that uh, at the past how many levels you have all these levels it will give you the information and take the advantage of this information and place a trade that will be the rejection trade so here i won this trade because of this rejection and then again we are watching the another trade let's see see here after this trade the price is moving in up direction and strongly it's moving in up direction we have a level so what we are expecting we are expecting the a rejection from the level this candle is size have a different size this candle have a different size now after closing up this candle we will understand that what will be the size of these two candles and then what will be the size of the next third candle so here don't expect the price will reject back because it's a medium candle it will be a strong candle now here this price will come back it will come back on this support level then i will place the trade but not immediately i'm waiting if not, it is not coming down i will never place the trade but it come down within the 13 seconds and it give me the chance because this candle size will be the small size so here i'm waiting it come down but in our purchasing time it's not come down so no no problem the next candle we will trade the next candle we will trade see now it's came down from the support it's move up but we don't have a expiry time we don't have a purchasing time so now this time the candle will close above or it's below let's see what happened it's closing on the support level and the next candle will be the green candle so it came down little bit it take a support and give me the confirmation yes we are going moving in an up direction come down first a little bit come down come 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 down you can see a movement is there movement finally it's moving in up direction so it did not show me the bottoms 
and then it show me every time that I'm moving up, I'm moving up, not matter where is the entry point. But if you have a confirmation that there is no bottom here and there is a support, it is taking, it will move up, no problem. So this candle will be closed and then we will select the another trade. The thread I won and now it's coming down and then it's rejecting from here bias entered again strongly so I'm thinking that the price have a little bit gap and it come on the support and give me rejection not above the support if it give me this rejection on the support it will be very nice for me to enter the trade I'm waiting but you, call, you, you think that the price not give me the time here no problem waiting the another time and then I will enter the trade about the rejection if I go with the logic the trades are so many but as compared to the rejection trading that is very important so here I missed that opportunity no problem now the next time here I have an idea that this time the price will next time it can move down so but it give the lower here lower here lower here yes the price will move down definitely the price will move down here see the rejection what shown me rejection show me that when the price is moving down a very sharp movement when the price is trying to move up very slow motion it means that the price will move down why because there is a breakout also and then the price will move down here so let's see we have we will win this trade and then this is what it's the rejection finally we will win this trade and the price now the next time it's uh, coming down at this area and rejected back from here so let's see we have more five to six seconds and then what's going on see i want this trade here this is the way to take the rejection but it is difficult if someone is thinking that uh, immediately I will get and understand and I will trade that is difficult it is not easy but if you will try it can be easy I am a human you are a human you can understand it is possible everything is possible thank you so much